counter should be smaller. Counter being smaller, I like. He, he, mean, he means like our send counter. Yeah. That that ma that hitbox is massive. That hitbox is and it's frame three. Yeah. You know what? I see no problems with it. It's totally fine. And the meter, the uh, meter thing, like yeah, that that's fair. Uh, he should have meter. He should, like, he, he should be. be but he always the way he is. He always has meter essentially. Yeah. Like that. That's. Like every other character that has a meter, loses it immediately when they die. You know, he goes like halfway. <laughs> he gets like half a meter when he comes back to like, oh, what? Why? <laughs> I mean, it's more like I said, like getting half a meter, and only like he loses only half a meter instead yeah. of losing his entire meter. Right. So if you're like three quarters of the way to getting Arsene, yeah, you're only like one quarter of the way to getting Arsene. But here we are. We are in losers' quarters losers because we want because. One of these Japanese players is going home in fifth place. And who put C, uh, T in the loser's bracket there? I know uh, Shuton defeated Tsu. Uh, T lost to Razo, I believe. Oh, snap. T beat two of the Japanese players there. Oh, right? no. Nitro. Nitro beat T. Oh, wow. Nitro and beat T. SoCal popped off. Yeah. And yet again, no, T almost lost to Tate here. That was a game three match. That's crazy. Yeah. Nonetheless, we got Sue and T right now in the loser's bracket. Unfortunately, one of these will have to, I mean, not really go home, because they're going to be here for Thunder Smash 3. But they're going to leave here tonight without uh, without the victory. Yeah. This without is the loser's quarters, too, so best of three. And yet again, like, I believe we do top four K out at this tournament. So yet again, one of them is going home with absolutely no nothing. money. Yeah. Getting a back throw right here, trying to set up a edge guard. Oh, oh man, the whiff grab gonna cost him so much, especially with what a lead he had on Sue. But the backer, uh, Rage and Aura in hand, taking that stock clean. Yet again, you know, T. I feel like with Pac-Man, like Pac-Man likes to set up a lot of traps, but you know what? Lucario's just like, I really don't care about any of that because I'm just gonna charge the Aura Sphere and if you drop the shield for a second, you're gonna eat like 40% off of this one move. So you stay, he's still hanging on to this first stock as he hangs on to the ledge, but getting caught off there with the up air to taking a KO finally. I want to see uh, the setups. Okay, there, with the Galaga there, ship. Yeah, there's the setups that we were expecting from T. Yeah, I want to see the Galaga ship into the um, like he did that main stage against uh, who was it? I forgot. It was against Blue Tony. He didn't win. Like the combo didn't like get the KO, but he like immediately won. Right. And yet again, no. I I love what Pac-Man does because he conditions you to like jump or like stay in shield. And if you stay in shield, he just runs up and grabs you. And if you jump, he just like bears you or nares you. I know it's like how do you mix up your your defensive options against Pac-Man? Is going to determine how well you're going to do well in the matchup. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know right here. That I'm just seeing uh, several sources in the chat saying that Aura caps at 190 percent, so you can hit up, you can hit. Uh, Lucario up into like a very, very dangerously high percent. I believe like Rage caps out at like 140, 150. So even past that, he still gets an added like boost from taking damage. Speaking of being past that, he just hit that threshold. So you know what? Ooh. Oh, that is so cheeky. I love it. You know what? Because that does apparently have a hitbox or a hurtbox on it. So he's able to counter it. But back throw, not at the ledge. So that's not going to kill. But. You know what? That's the interesting thing. Like, he kind of like most hackmans like to like hide behind their hydrant, but oh my god, so much damage! But as I was saying, they like to hide behind the hydrant. But if you just run up and counter it, and just like come in from behind, like what what is Pac-Man gonna do at that point? He has to respect the counter and just like run away. All right, Sue so just uh, using his counter to deal with the hydrant. It's such a good tool because it like maintains like a, it, it's sneaky. He gets to choose the direction that a counter comes out once it's activated. You know, like, both, both both players kind of laughing right there. Yeah. Cause like, you it know, is, he had the key and was like, I'm waiting for you to throw out the ore sphere. And Sue's so just like, I have the ore sphere. I'm waiting for you to throw out key. And you know what? They threw it out and it, it they goes to each other. They both do, did the thing and they lost their lives for it. And we're down to our last stock here. For game number one, Team Japan. Now, who do you think that trade benefited more? Do you think it benefited Mario more, or do you think it benefited Pac-Man It definitely uh, benefited 
Pac-Man more because that resets um, Lucario back to zero, meaning he has no rage, no aura, which is, you know, literally the way Lucario is designed to function, right? Like his whole design is based off of those mechanics. Yeah. So he, he kind of needs those to maintain competitiveness. Whoa, oh, dude, no, the that, whiff, the choke. <laughs> that was a free up yeah, smash. He, he had that. That was a free up smash. And you know what? If T loses it, he's going to be shaking in his head tonight. Be like, why did I, why'd I go for that? I was trying to be cheeky with the up air, and I'm, I'm going to lose the game because of it. Oh, back air. All right, charging up the fruit. Tries to hit him out of the sky again. All right. He's got the bell. You know what, Sue charging up over oh. here, but no, it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I tried being cheeky the first time. Nah, no, I'm gonna go ah. straight for up smash this time. He rolled into that. He rolled into up smash. That was great. I mean, I like it. I like that he rolled because roll has a set distance, whereas right. like if he maybe dashed forward, he made it like overextended it. a little yeah, bit, under, just like under the barely pressure. messed the up smash. Yeah. That was oh. sick. So even though it looked funny, that was like optimal play. It was like, oh yeah. Roll I mean, it was, it was right a way there. to like prevent him from like overshooting. Right. Like, and you know, he was at 100%. He was going to be stuck in that for a long time. Right. Enough time to just get there and get the up smash for the kill. So we got game number two, right back to PS2. And T uh, taking the first game. Just barely, honestly, it was last stock, last hit. Here we go. Oh, I'm oh, surprised. What? He just landed with a nair, and then Sue's is like, you're going to do something else. And Sue's is like, yeah, I'm going to grab you because you're going to stay in the shield. Bruh. And you know, like, that's a super hard call out when, when Pac-Man is standing right in front of you and gets the grab. I know he got his grab got buffed, but, like, like it, it's not it's, a horrible it's grab still anymore. Ass. No, it's still ass. Really I right. mean, no, 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 no. Like, it's an actual functional grab it in functions, this game. It functions, but yeah. it's, still, it's still booty. Booty butt cheeks. Hey, it's it's disjointed. It's a fairly decent distance, it's and it it lasts a long time too. It's I. Like there, there are better. Yet again, it's not Palutena grab, yeah. but it's not Mac grab either, where it was like super no, broken. Right. It's, it's, it's like it's definitely usable. Yeah. And you see Pac-Man players actually being able to use that grab. Nonetheless, a back air right here from Sue taking that first stock. Really good position for him to be in. He's still like in mid rage or a percentage, uh, healthy life and still like has so much more to benefit as the time goes on and his percent starts to build up on himself. It's the bear, you know what, looking for the up air afterwards, but finds the bell, and you know what, too high off the ground to get an up smash, so he just went for the up air instead and recaught the bell, looking for the kill, and there he goes, he finds it when he was trying to retreat to the platform. Oh no, he's off stage. Oh my god, he barely made it back on the second bounce. You know that if he didn't make it back on that second bounce, like Sue was just gonna drop down there, take the third bounce away from him, and be like, yeah, you're dead. Bruh. Okay, dude, he is not letting up. T move. Oh, yup. Damn. Alright, man. Pac Man should not be this good. Woo! Schmix. Alright, that's the bell in hand. Alright, oh. he tries to use the hydrant to bounce up forward to get that grab. Unfortunately, it does not work out. Alright, he just barely threw the bell on top of the hydrant instead of right in front of it. So, you know what? That's one of the, the really cool tricks that Pac Man has up his sleeve. Because, like, when you're off stage like that, you don't see the bell coming at you at like 40 miles per hour, you know? Oh, I like something that, uh, as Russell just mentioned in the chat, he said Pac Man's grab is good because it beats Spot Dodge and people spam when they panic in this game. And they just spam in general because Spot Dodge canceling is so good. Landing with an aerial into a Spot Dodge is so good in this game that if you're a Pac Man player, you have a lingering grab hitbox that can actually just beat that out. So it's a good counterplay to a very general like tactic that you can use in the game. There we go, you know, 130%, you know, Pac-Man has to clean out the stock super fast or otherwise, you know, Sue's just gonna run away with it. All right, Ethan, it totally is. I mean, like, you might as well, I get I get the point, like. Oh, what did Ethan say? He said, he said spot dodge canceling is just spot dodge because, I mean, you basically, like, it's like if you're not, like, buffering a move to immediately, like, cancel the final frames of the spot dodge, then you're like, what are you doing? Right? I mean, you should always be spot, spot dodge canceling. Yeah, it's basically just spot dodge. Like, the only time you don't spot dodge cancel is if you're like Ike and you're going for a jump in an air. Right. Yeah. yeah, you still have to perform the action. So, like, I, I, you know, I think it, it, it's worth saying spot dodge canceling is a thing because there are some people who don't know it's a thing and will not, like, immediately mash an option. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, unless you have, like, a good, like, up B out of shield, like, you're not beating that landing aerial. 
down to his last life right here. Oh my god, that was so sneaky of Teeth right there. But you know what? It, it, it was cheeky, but he wasn't able to fully capitalize on it, so that's all it's going to be. You know what? I, I like how you just went for that out smash there, because you know what? If Gibbon pushed by the Hydrant, he might have just like pushed him like into it. But oh, you know what? I feel like T is. Like, oh, oh, dude, he's hurting. He's hurting. Game number two going to Sue right there. He's just like, I'm trying to do all these fancy hydrant like combos, all these shenanigans. Sue, I'm gonna whack your hydrant and kill you with it. That that's my hydrant shenanigans. Yeah, that was. Stop <laughs> that was Yet again. No. No, he's not going. Oh, okay. Joker? No way. Pac-Man? No way. Like, he even, he, look at his face. So cute. No way. You're not playing Mario. You're going right back to Pac-Man, bro. Yeah. Hat. <laughs> what hat are you wearing, bro? You know what hat you're wearing? It's like, yeah, I'm fine with this character. I'm fine with this character. He was just like, damn. He outplayed me. Okay, time to go to the main. Three, two, one. Here we go, game three, and you know what? This is only quarter, so yet again, this is best out of three. Regardless of whether or not spot dodge canceling is that big of a deal, which I agree it's really not that big of a deal, it's still worth mentioning, I, I would say, because like, it, it, you, you arm yourself with the knowledge, like, you, if you play the game as if spot dodge canceling didn't exist, it, like, you would be significantly hindered, right. I think. Even though, like, it doesn't really make too much of a difference once everyone knows it's a thing because it just levels the playing field. Otherwise, if you don't know, you're like at a. At I mean, a it, I mean that's the meta game, you know. Like, it's like okay, once everybody knows, then what's the counterpoint to the thing that everybody knows? And Sue, no! Oh my God, he tried going to ledge, but unfortunately, he curves down, just completely whiffs the ledge. So T, T is just like, okay, that's unfortunate, my brother, but. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to win. Javi uh, or, or uh, whoever's controlling your chat right now told me not to argue with chat mid-match. I'm not even arguing. I'm like having a discussion, and I think the discussion is like useful information to people who may not be looking at the chat in a YouTube bot. It's relevant to the, the matchup right here. Right. You know what? 78%, you know, Sue really cleaned up that stock really quickly, you know? I know 78%, that's like mid-rage, you know, mid-aura, so... He can now start like playing neutral and like do neutral damage instead of well, like doing like 0.8 damage. Because I feel like Mario like starts off bad and then he gets like at 50, 60 percent he becomes like a normal character, and then at like 100, 140 percent he becomes a stupid character. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so hanging on the two stocks right here. So is T at a much healthier percent. 36 to 134. The grab. Back throw into the uh, Aura Sphere. He tries to go for the mix-up. Not fast enough. Ooh. Oh, both of them trying to go for that forward smash. But unfortunately, you know, Sue has a little bit more wind-up on his. And you know what? Man, just to sneak to the ledge right there. And I like that T caught it and then threw it back in the other direction because he knew Sue was like trying to approach him from behind. Yeah, and here we go. And you know he catches the bear, but you know what? Not enough rage. Not gonna kill. I mean, can we just talk about how ridiculous it is that we were considering bear killing at 50%? Yeah, that's actually wild. 103. Here for T. Still got one stock in place. Yo, through the Yo. stage again. Come I, on, I love how Sue immediately okay. recognized <laughs> that like he was trying to go for that. Yeah, and then side B killed. Gets a force bomb in. Only 80% right here. This is a good spot for Sue to be in. Uh, can't get hit too much more, even though he will benefit from Aura. It's uh, not to his best benefit to actually get hit into a KO percent. I mean, yet again, he has to worry about bell killing. You know, and like 20%, he has to worry about key killing. Uh, there we go. He's at like 140%. So. You know what? He has to worry about key killing it. That's that's the super like frame trap thing. Cause like it covers normal getup. It covers uh, hanging on ledge. It covers like, getup attack. You know. 
And you know what? Uh, all he has to do at that point is just cover, roll in. And he was able to do this though, and you know what? And this is a super even match right here. Oh, oh dude. dude! If he gets it, oh, I thought, yeah, I was like, yeah, that's a free force palm, dude. If he gets force palm by the ledge right there, that's no. a KO, but he gets it by the apple. 2 1 for T right here. Apple, really smart play. I mean, what a quick reaction from him uh, to throw that apple, like, as he was charging it, because he recognized he had the perfect angle. The apple goes at a diagonal angle, right. and he was able to take uh, the, the set for it.